The JJRC H3 is undoubtedly a quadcopter, but with a difference. Now one thing you just can't argue these days is that there are not enough quadcopters. This market is extremely saturated. There's quadcopters that can fly 50 feet into the air, there's ones that can do flips, and there's ones fitted with the top-end 1080p or maybe even 4K cameras. This one is none of them, but it does have some unique features of its own, and it really is quite an interesting product. However, the remote itself was not too impressive, it looks much more like a toy than I would have liked, and these plastic stickers really don't encourage confidence. Now the actual quadcopter itself is pretty well built, it's largely a plastic construction, which is just going to help it to fly easier, and on the bottom we have a cheap and cheerful 2 megapixel camera capable of both photo and video. Now the photos are not the crispiest, and the video lacks stabilisation and is a little bit choppy, but it's better than not being there and it's not terrible. Now in terms of fly, I was really really impressed. For $60 this thing definitely outperforms its competitors, we're actually getting nearly 20 minutes of flight time, which is absolutely fantastic. Now while it may not look like it, I am fully in control of this quadcopter at the minute. It does feel very, very agile. It can feel like you can make it do exactly what you want to, which is not something I can say about all the ones at this price. It also has these really, really nice bright LEDs, which you can make them flash in a variety of different combinations, and it's good for nighttime, but in the day you're barely going to notice them. While you're not exactly going to be flipping around with this copter anytime soon, you've actually got a lot of control over it in flight mode. You can obviously ascend and descend, you can rotate even while you're standing at a single point, you can actually strafe so you can move left and right without actually changing the direction, and alternatively you can also do it while changing. Now while this is all well and good, I mean it's a quadcopter, it's meant to fly, the JJRC H3 does actually have a couple of tricks up its sleeve. First of all, it can actually drive, so on the land it basically just has two wheels, one in the top left, one in the bottom right, and those actually are used to basically make it move forward and backward. There's no steering, and it's not exactly the smoothest motion, but it's an extra little feature. And possibly the coolest thing about it is it actually walks on water. You simply pick it up, place it on a body of water, whether it's a lake, a pond, it doesn't matter, and you click drive, then literally, like something out of the bible, it just goes. So yeah, this is a really cool little gadget. There are tons of quadcopters out there, but I think that the H3 does just enough to differentiate itself. It's got a very stable flight path. Maybe not the fanciest, but feature packed. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I'm Mr Who's the Boss, and this is Insanely Cool Tech. <laughs>